I am Farida Nekzat. I am the responsible for the Center, uh, Center for, for the Protection of Afghan Women Journalists in Afghanistan, which is supported by RSF. Since um, four years, we have this uh, deadly year for journalists, especially in 2018. You see that uh, we lost more than um, the 53, about 53 mm -hmm. journalists and media workers. It's, uh, it's too, too much. Being a journalist for all, and as a woman journalist, it's a bit much more risky and not easy to work. And we now. Uh, we uh, accept this risk mm -hmm. and we think that we should be um, like a model or a logo for others because the young generation needs some support and courage. That's how we should um, think about only about ourselves that if, in case uh, we leave this professional job. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is why um, we try to uh, fight and uh, we try to um, show that how we are committed to work even this is very risky for Afghanistan and for Afghan women mm -hmm. um, by different ways we are trying to find the possibility to stay and work the only thing that uh, sometime uh, despite of um, efforts of uh, the Afghan government regarding the safety and security of journalists, but there is no guarantee because you you see uh, any time it's happened like this is a suicide bomber, it's not guarantee where we, you will be uh, in office or in the main street and the supermarket. It means it is a big um, uh, risk anywhere. But the, the only thing that um, RSF had a guideline of. During the coverage, you can save this safety guideline, uh, safety and security guideline for journalists and how to save yourself during the um, coverage in war zone or like during the explosions. This is the only thing sometimes journalists use from that and also uh, an a specific uh, protection that regarding the safety and security, unfortunately, we don't have mm -hmm. for general for journalists. And the specific for women, you know, um, we don't have uh, any uh, any uh, guarantee for for or any specific protection mm -hmm. for women journalists, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Afghanistan is a traditional country, and uh, in, in terms of community, they have the social problem, they have the sexual harassment problem. Beside of uh, the lack of safety and security in the uh, job security and safety, mm -hmm. s uh, physically s safety and security, and also uh, you know, women or women journalists are the only people they can reach and cover the violations, uh, uh, issues and reports because they are women. They can go to. Those people, they are really um, injured and like suffer from the any violations. Mm -hmm. So um, male journalists can't do this because of this community. Mm -hmm. uh, when when women journalists do this, also this is a war loss, even more loss. Mm -hmm. Everyone is uh, treats for them, mm -hmm. and uh, they are not safe, and there is no safe environment in terms of society and even inside the organization and mm -hmm. some of the organization. So they, they are uh, much more in the risk, mm -hmm. they are much more in the threats. For example, we have Nengarhar, uh, mm -hmm. which is Jalala, called Jalalabad. Mm -hmm. Before we had more than 40 women journalists work there, mm -hmm. but now we have only 10 and only one woman uh, on the TV. They are uh, mm -hmm. uh, just like a table uh, journalists, mm -hmm. only from the inside of the organization. Mm -hmm. They are not going the, on the ground, on the floor, on the, 
and the area that mm -hmm. what uh, what they should do. Mm -hmm. So this is an example because of the SS, the Islamic States, mm -hmm. is very active and they are doing many many violations, explosion, mm -hmm. bombing, and suicide bombing, um, treating mm -hmm. journalists and even male journalists are mm -hmm. in danger. Mm -hmm. Uh, like Kunduz, you see mm -hmm. two, three times Kunduz fall in the Taliban, mm -hmm. in the hand of Taliban and many radio uh, clubs and clothes um, uh, run by women. Mm -hmm. So we have such experience and it is really, um, women are mostly targeted, mm -hmm. especially in, the, in the, some rural areas, some mm -hmm. uh, provinces and some the uh, area which is under control of Taliban, it mm. is really uh, very dangerous and we can't uh, find any woman journalists in some, some provinces. Uh, no, um, I should say unfortunately or fortunately, but uh, I left to work in Afghanistan because mm -hmm. I experienced uh, my work, even I was in uh, very danger and I was really in risk. I suffered a lot under threats. I, I just, uh, this was my um, commitment. Mm -hmm. When I get the support of international community, mm -hmm. when I recognized by, by international award and mm -hmm. prize, mm -hmm. my responsibilities become much more higher and I become much more responsible mm -hmm. To, to be one of the person to work mm -hmm. and have really presence in my country. I don't know, but I feeling that I can uh, be one of the um, uh, defender for the freedom of expression, mm -hmm. for the woman rights, for the human rights in general. Mm -hmm. As a woman activist and a civil society activist, if we all run from the country, it means who will be in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. who will support the other woman, young woman, young generation, and who will represent Afghanistan. It is difficult uh, to, of course, it's not easy to, to, to accept risk and be in a such situation. Mm -hmm. But you have to fight. Mm -hmm. You have to see when a number of women start fighting, uh, for their rights, they give sacrifice for the other and the international women, they come because of that. They honor and the name become remain till now, for a long time. So some of the women should be uh, as a old go for others, as a, as a model for others, that they should be also courage. Otherwise, in any very small chance, they will say, oh, I have a chance, I have to leave because this is, uh, a risky job. Mm -hmm. No, we have to, we have to be patient, mm -hmm. and we have to be positive. Mm -hmm.